Hi everyone, Paul here. Going to do a uh, unboxing and review today of the new LGB uh, acquisition. This is a Wiscasset, Waterville, and Farmington Railway Forney and matching car set from LGB. So let's get to it. So here's the locomotive out of its styrofoam case. You will obviously get the standard two magnets for the triggering of bell and whistle sound, smoke fluid, engineer, and a knuckle coupler to replace the hook and loop that comes on the back of the unit. Unit looks very nice. The, uh, the paint job, I think, is, is dead on. I've been reviewing the WWNF Railway historical site, looking at their locomotive picture history. This is, this is pretty darn close to what the actual locomotive does look like today. It has a, a, a dull, you know, graphite gray smoke box and a shinier boiler and sand and steam dome. Looks like the whistles are a little bit loose there. Tighten those up. Cab looks nice. Interior. Nice interior. And of course, the uh, the tender side with a small coal bunker on top. This is obviously an 0440. So all the power driving the motors up front here. There probably is also pickups in the back. The only difference I see between the LGB model and the actual locomotive is the uh, the backup light. Backup light on the model here is on top of the roof where on the actual locomotive it's on the back of the tender. And there's also a railing ladder on the back of the tender as well on the original. So I might end up putting a ladder on that to make it look more like it. Moving that that reverse light to the back of the tender might be a little bit more of a daunting task. Probably just leave it the way it is. But overall, it looks like a nice, nice locomotive. Here's the front of it. Number nine. That's the actual locomotive that's currently running today on the Wiscasset, Waterville, and Farmington Railway, historical railway up in Maine. You also obviously get the standard LGB instruction booklet, a decoder pamphlet, the warranty information, and a nice addition here is the uh, booklet regarding the, the history and the uh, locomotive and rolling stock that had run on the Wiscasset, at Waterville and Farmington way back when it started in 18, I believe it was 1889. Uh, and then up, obviously up through today. So let's take a look at the cars. Here's the first car. Number three was Cassett in Quebec, which I believe was the original name of the railway before it was named the Wiscasset and Waterville and Farmington Railway. So this was one of the original car, car numbers and names that came with the original railway when it was developed back in the late 1800s. Car looks nice, the paint looks really good. Lettering, it looks really crisp. The roof, I like the red color in the roof and that pretty much is representative of what the original cars looked like. The only thing I, I see here is that they come with the hook and loops, which is typical for LGB. The, uh, the cars did not come with a set of knuckle couplers as the engine did but the cars don't so I'll have to replace them and get myself some LGB knuckles to uh, replace the hook and loops. Same thing with the other car. This one is in the WWNFR Railway, the Wiscasset, Waterville and Farmington Railway, number eight. Same paint scheme as the uh, the first car, this is number eight, and again, looks really nice. Paint job's great. Lettering is very crisp. 
Both cars will be powered with lights. I'm gonna put lights in these and people in the next few days. So the next time you probably see these running on another video, they will have people in lights in both cars and probably knuckle couplers too, but very nice. Let's put these on the club layout and check them out running behind the Forney. Thank <laughs> you. 